This would be amusing. Okay, day six of Inktober, and I have a design for Havoc from Mortal Kombat, and not the Havoc from the Chaos Reigns pack, or the Havoc that was in Mortal Kombat 1 that's supposed to be Daru for some reason. No, I'm actually recreating the original Havoc, at least close enough to him from Mortal Kombat Deception. Being honest, I always thought Havoc had a cool character design. I've been waiting for the longest time for him to return in Mortal Kombat. It was cool seeing him in the Chaos Reigns DLC, I just thought how they got rid of him at the end was kind of odd. There's a couple things about the ending that's sort of odd to me, but whatever. But it's still a lot better than how he was portrayed in the first part of the story. Just Havoc causing mayhem and madness is what I've always wanted to see in a Mortal Kombat game. We've never got a full depiction of it ever. Really, until now, in Deception, he was just like a side character to give you missions in Conquest mode for the most part. And I don't want to do too much complaining about the Chaos Reigns pack after just recently going through the DLC for Tekken. I don't know what's going on nowadays with these extra story DLCs, but that's another conversation, I guess. But as far as this design that I did for Havoc, just screwing around for Inktober, I just started designing a Havoc look that was close to the, I guess the old school deception look, as well as taking elements of his Chaos Reigns look too. Because I don't think it looks all that bad to be quite honest, I just think it has too many colors. Havoc had a real muted design, or not muted, but it was just like purples and black, uh, yeah, purples and blacks and like reds. It wasn't a lot color wise going on in the design. They gave him like all the colors, it seemed, <laughs> for his design in the Chaos Reigns pack. Uh, not all the colors, I'm exaggerating, of course, but he's way more colorful, like bright greens and whatnot. Like that was not his original character. But I guess we needed an excuse to sort of justify making the realms look the way it did. So for this design that I gave him, I just wanted a lot of just random spikes put on his design and clothes because that's kind of how Havoc looks to begin with. I did take a little bit from the base Havoc design for MK1, because being honest, that design isn't really atrocious. It just, the hairstyle makes the entire design look bad. And I wish there was a way to just change his hair, it would fix a lot. But as far as this one is concerned, not gonna lie, the thing that actually scared me with doing this design was working on his mouth solely because I've never drawn a sort of human with skull-like features before, and I've never thought about the fact that I've never drawn that until now. I've drawn skulls and I've drawn people for most of my life, but the combination of the two has never been done. And obviously the skin is ripped off of the front of Havoc's face, so you can partially see parts of the skull there. I wanted to make sure I'd still be able to pull that off and it looks somewhat decent. And it wasn't bad once I finished. I didn't start to see how it would really turn out until I started shaving. As far as the color palette is concerned, I already knew what I was working with. Like I said, his design was a bunch of like purples and blues and like burgundies almost. So that was what I ran with here. As long as I stuck within the color scheme, it's like as close as it can look to Havoc. It will just by that alone. And an updated Havoc. Like I said, I'm just having fun with the character. I just wanted something that was closer to the deception look more than anything else. Um, I decided to do the highlights for him first, a contrast to how I normally do a lot of my designs. The only reason for it was I wanted to see exactly how I was going to shade or how dark I wanted to make it as I was drawing them. And it wasn't really too dark once I started shading, just a lot more dark than I normally do a lot of my designs and paintings. It was actually interesting looking at this with the highlights already done and then going back and shading it. I don't know, it was weird. It was like I was, I never feel like I'm like doing it that way when I do the pieces in the reverse. It's the weirdest thing, but it wasn't too bad. This was a lot of fun to draw. Havoc's a freaky character to do a design for, to be quite honest with you. And I've never drawn him before, so it's another one of those characters that's existed for quite a while that I'm a fan of that I've never attempted to draw. So this was pretty interesting. As far as Havoc as a character is concerned, I wish the Chaos Reigns pack wasn't the end of this particular Havoc. I want us to get more of him in the future, or at least the Havoc in the timeline to be more like the Havoc that we knew and loved in the past rather than whatever he was in the initial story. I'd be cool with that. 
But in any event, that is the picture and this was the finished Havoc. Let me know what you think in the comments below and how you feel about Havoc's return to Mortal Kombat 1 or at least the traditional Havoc that we got in the Chaos Reigns pack in comparison to the original that we had. Love to know your thoughts. In any event, like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And you all have a good one. And I'm out.